can't see us, but we're good. Okay. All righty. Wow, isn't this awesome having all these people here? Yeah. So I think this is the way our meeting should be every single week, all right? And um, let's pack the house with guests. This is really what we want, is we want to be in front of your people. So because this is where it's at, is getting them to try the products and then marketing and using the events. You're coming here to get trained. You might as well use the events to make money and to get some new team members, right? right. You want to work smart, right? Yes. And not hard, yes. okay. So several announcements. Um, 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 where do we even start? So we're doing um, Pizza and Possibilities. The last one we'll do is this Friday at the Old Chicago. Um, you invite people to come listen to the information. We have them in Pueblo and the Springs. Um, we are having meeting next Monday. I know it's Memorial Day, and I know some of you will be out of town, and that's totally fine. But I don't ever, ever, ever like to cancel anything. So for those of you that are in town or you're back, we will have meeting next Monday night. Um, and then Saturday morning facials as well, okay? Um, let's see. You guys know the new product is out? Yes, 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 yes. yes. So, let's see, what else? Um, we have a, there's a red jacket event on June 10th. I know she's going to talk in a second about the event on June 3rd, but it is just for red jackets. It is for, um, I know for every faces, everyone can get in their red jacket by the end of the month. Like, Laura recruited three people in a day. It really is a mindset. Um, I know Leah has done that too. I know Leah had three new people, or Leah Michelle had three new people in a week. You guys, it can happen. That I mean, Danielle, brand new consultant, has two new people in a week. So it's not that complicated. It really is a mindset. It's about excitement. And if you have a goal that you're going to get in your right jacket by the end of the month, um, you um, th then you work with excitement and purpose. And so I encourage you to register for the event, and then you'll find your three people um, to join your team. So I'm going to be doing a lot of training there, and then Suzanne Brothers and the three other nationals in Colorado are going to be training you. So you guys, it's definitely going to be worth it. And so I encourage you to register for the event, and then let's get you in your red jacket, because every single one of you should be in your red jacket by the end of the month. Three active team members. If you if you saw the promo that I'm offering this month, I'm offering a gorgeous ring for you to get into your red jacket. And anyone who goes on target for their car this month, it's my, forget it's not my, this, it, 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 it. Um, you know what my old one? I'm just like having old tote. <laughs> this tote, which I love, I use it for all my appointments. Um, you get it when you go on target for your car this month. And every single one of you can go on target for your car this month too. Do you know how to do that? Uh, Crickets. Um, no, you don't know how to do that. Yeah, you have five active team members in a month. And your orders between you and your team are 5,000 in a month, which is not hard to do. It's really not if you get those new people coming in. If you want to go and target for your car, anyone want to go and target for their car this month? Okay, you get that, but more importantly, you might target for your car. And then um, you, your commission check is going to be anywhere from six to 850 extra dollars in team building commission. Could you get excited about that? Okay, so I'm going to give you the plan. Write this down. You want to go and drive your car between now and the end of the month? You share the business opportunity with 20 people. Share the business opportunity with 20 people, preferably with your director. Because it's our job to, um, to be, you know, we, we, we are strong at recruiting and team building and closing that get 20 people in front of your director or just have 20 people listen to the information but have them follow up with your director. That's important. Um, get them to an event, get them, you know, to come to a Saturday and a Monday and a Friday and get them to the things that we're doing because that's powerful. Okay. So you guys got it. So this is what you do. Write this down. You tell people I'm going on target for my car this month. I need 20 people to just listen. I'm sure this is something you would never ever in a million years want to do, but I need 20 people to just listen. That's it. And then they just listen. And they'll make their own decision. It's not our job to convince anybody to sign up. It's our job to just share the info. And just like Danielle said, it's a no-brainer. Like the starter kit is literally a no-brainer. Such a good deal. Got it? Okay. We're not going to tangent on that. Um, the other thing going on with that is our goal is to finish million this month. <laughs> to finish million this month, we are, well, we have to do 60,000 wholesale this month. 
and we're about 40,000 wholesale right now. Um, but, but we can do it. We have like a week and a half to finish. And what we need is everyone's, everyone's help to, to make this happen. Everyone in the room um, gets, gets to be involved in this. And I backtracked it that if we sell a thousand masks, a thousand charcoal masks, which we now in the end of the month, we can do it. Okay. And every single one of you can sell 10. This product is a hot seller that all you got to do is just say, oh my God, there's a new charcoal mask. You got to try it. Our, the price point of ours is so good compared to the ones out there on the market. I don't know if you've done any research, but for the value of how much you get for the quality of our charcoal mask, it is that, you did, that there's nothing out there like it. Okay. So just telling people it's only 24 bucks every, and you would have $240 in your pocket. Okay. So everyone can sell 10. Seriously, I'm counting on everyone to sell 10 this week. Really do it. And I'll tell you the words in a minute. I would challenge you to stretch to at least 25. Because when you hit 25, between now and the end of the month, you're going to get a gift from me. And when you hit 50, you're going to get a biz, like business card, a packet of business cards, um, the, the little business kit. It's your, all your, if you already have that stuff, then we'll, we'll get something of, of equal or value. Equal value. Um, and then when you sell 100, because 100 is easy. Yes. Easy. 100 is easy. That was crickets. Let's say this out loud. 100 is easy. I need to mute everybody. I forgot to mute everybody. Um, 100 is easy. And that's $2,400 in your pocket. Could you get it? Okay. That's really, I heard some excitement out there about that. $2,400 cash in your pocket, people. Don't tell me you can't make money with this business. Usually it's because you don't have a goal and you're not excited and you're being afraid and you're not being willing to get yourself out there. I'd encourage you all, okay, everyone in the room, you want to make good money this week? Yes. yes. Set a goal to sell 100 masks this week. And tell everyone, my goal is to sell 100 masks this week. Can you help me? Do you need a mask? Do you need a mask? Do you want two masks? Why not? Instead of getting one, why not get two? Why not to stock up? Do you have a friend that needs a mask? Seriously, guys, telling people your goal is huge. That what happens is women, number one, don't have a goal. And they just say, oh, maybe I'll try. You're never going to do anything if you're just trying. No, you say, I'm selling 100 masks, and you figure it out. Okay? So everyone wants to sell 100 masks, right? Y'all right. want to have $2,400 in your pocket, right? Yes. I was talking about Laura, and Laura sold her $1,800 to get her first star order in. Sold it all. Because she had a goal. Nice. The power of goal is huge, you guys. That um, Anyway, so 100 masks is easy, yeah. right? Yeah. Woo! Okay, so that's going to help you make money, help us reach our goal. Anyone that orders 1,000 wholesale, which when you, when you sell 100, you're going to be ordering 50 masks. That's a $1,200 wholesale order, right? Um, and then you're going to be getting a cool gift from me as well. So when we hit 60,000, I'm going to go away hundred, a thousand dollars cash. Okay. Um, let's see. I think that's, I think that's all the announcements got up on that, but I want you guys selling this mask. Every single one of you could sell a hundred. If you make up your mind, make a decision that you're going to do it. And then you figure it out. You're not going to have everyone want to help you, but you'll have lots of people who want to be engaged. Women want to help other people, but if you don't have a goal, they don't know how they can help you. But if you tell everyone, I'm scared, I'm nervous, my goal, or blame it on me. Say, our unit is selling a um, 1,000 masks this next, or the, we're, we're finishing a huge goal, we're selling a 1,000 masks this week, and my director is challenging, has challenged me to sell 100 masks this week. Can you help me? Write that down. Y'all didn't write that down. Um, <laughs> say, oh, we have a huge goal, we're breaking a record and being the first million dollar unit in Colorado, and... Uh, my director has challenged me to sell a hundred masks this week. I need your help. Can you help? You guys got that? You said, I need you. I have a goal. Blame it on your director. And then say, I need your help. Can you help me? Or do you know somebody who'll be willing to help? It's that easy. You can do that, right? Worst case scenario, you sell 50 masks and you have $1,200 in your pocket. Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> That's really a sad story. <laughs> Even just ten is nice. Yeah, three hundred forty dollars. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty good pay raise for mm -hmm. just talk to people on Facebook. I yeah. Because this this product is selling so quick and it's gone viral. Oh, yeah. I mean, so have you guys sold any yet? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You know it's, it's not hard to sell. No. It's really really <laughs> easy to sell. So, um, but I encourage you to set the bar high. 
Don't just set, don't start at 10. It's better to start at 100, and then if you sell 10, right. then that's okay. Right. You know, that set the bar high and set your goal. I would not set your goal less than 50. I'm being serious. Yeah. Because, because when you have a big goal, you work differently. When you have a small goal, you're like, oh, 10, I'll procrastinate next week, next week, tomorrow, tomorrow. But when you're like, I need to sell 100, you get on it tonight. Right? Because you're like, okay, I need to do this. And then you get people involved. Maybe you can have a friend. Maybe you have a friend, you tell her, hey, you go sell 10 masks for me, I'll give yours for free. Get other people on board. Do you get that? If you have 10 friends, go sell 10 masks for you. That's 100. That, I mean, seriously, that's 100 right there. And they're doing all the work for you. And give them a free mask. It's worth it to give away $12 when she just sold a thousand or $240 for you. Right? Mm -hmm. And she brought you 10 new customers, people you don't know, that you better be calling them for, in, to do a facial. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Use this. Use this. It's a way to get new leads, money, and new customers. You gonna do it now? Yes. 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 Can we do it? Yes, yes we can. can. All right. Would you go to your announcement now? I'm all fired up. I'm so excited. Well, you're all going to sell lots of charcoal masks, and you're all going to have tons of money to register for seminar and the Lori Hog. Woohoo! Yes, we're so excited for that. So, uh, if you don't know what Lori Hog is, she is a professional makeup artist that uses all Mary Kay products, and she's coming out here to Colorado. She's already bought her plane ticket, um, and we are wanting to support her because otherwise she'll never come back to Colorado Springs. <laughs> so we told her we have 16 people come. And so we want to show her that we want her to come back. And so if you are interested at all in upping your game with makeup and cosmetics, I would highly recommend going. And I'm encouraging everyone to register tonight because next week is Memorial Day. And I didn't realize that you're so cold, you mean but I didn't want to wait until then because of Memorial Day and some of you might not be here. I mean, of course you want to be here, but if you're not here, I want to get your money tonight. <laughs> so um, you can pay with credit card or cash or check. How much is it? $70 and that's all day. Um, and she has a supply list, I think on the flyer. Um, so yeah, but I know that Jana went and how much of a value would you put on the workshop? Um, I believe that's really what took my confidence to that next level to be able to get into the IQ because I felt like I actually could talk to people a little bit more confidently about the makeup process. Like we all do skincare, which is fine, but I think all of us could use a little bit of extra confidence in the makeup arena. So I. You can't put a price on on what I learned from her, and it's still use it, and it helps me feel better about what I do myself, because that's how she teaches. She teaches you how to do it all to yourself. So you get your own makeover. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, um, but I went to a workshop similar about twelve years ago, and I still use those techniques. And so think about twelve years of sales that I've gotten from one workshop. So I mean, seriously. So seventy dollars, skin on Starbucks, skin on. Whatever you can find. Yeah. Sell some charcoal masks. <laughs> yeah. Sell some charcoal masks. So it's June third. Right yes. June third. June third. So it's not this weekend, but it's next weekend. Hence why we want registration now because it's like coming up. But um, in the spring. It's in the spring. So it's at the Be More Event Center. And I know Candace has posted it, but we'll be yeah. posted. Um, I have a flyer, so if I you talk to me afterwards, sorry, yeah, that's okay. If you talk to me tonight and you register, I can text you the flyer too right away so you have that. Let's choose her. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right. I was Thank trying you. to find um, the next thing I want to, well, the um, next thing I want to talk about is okay, any other announcements that you think of? Any questions on announcements? Announcements, announcements. Okay. One thing we're going to talk about a couple different things tonight, but uh, what I want to talk about first is did you see the star prizes for no. this quarter? Do you guys know what star prize you're gonna pick? Yeah. Did you guys see that there's one for 7,800? <laughs> that you can get a seven night vacation certificate um, to, and, and there's a ton of different places all um, across the world that you can go to. Can anyone get excited about a free vacation? Yeah. This is for consultants. This is not just for directors. I think this is the first time 
but I've never seen them offer a gift like that for consultants to travel. <laughs> I've heard that before. Okay, had cool. Before. Had it. Before. Maybe if they just want, I was excited about time. it. It was back in, I had a grand, grand age. <laughs> Seven and nine vacation, they're all over the place. So everybody can earn that. And I also want you guys to know, I mean, us, I mean, us finishing our goal, um, you know, stretching towards a thousand masks and you selling a hundred each, right? right. That's right. 2,400. That's, that'll be 1,200 wholesale. So wherever you're at right now, that'll bump you up 1,200. But there's a, the, the start quarter ends. When does the start quarter end? June 15th. June 15th. Okay. So, um, like whatever, some of you are new, some of you have been in for a while, wherever you're at, whatever you've ordered, um, whatever you've ordered so far, you want to figure out where you're at right now and then figure out the difference to where you want to be with these prices. But I, every single one of you in the room can earn the 7,800. Could you get excited about that? Yeah. How that would happen is of course it happens through sales, but it also happens through qualified team members. That's going to bump you up. For every new per, new qualified personal team member you have, it bumps you up 600 points. So like right now, I have 10 personal qualified people this quarter. That's 6,000 star credits. 6,000. So I only, I mean, I've sold more than 1,800 personally, but you guys, that's a huge difference that I sold 1,800, but I have 10 um, qualified team members. That's what you write in. Right you now. see that that yeah. that that exactly that those team members and the sales doing them together. That's why at the beginning I said you want to go and turn for your car. Do both. Do both. Tell people I'm I'm selling a hundred max between now and the end of the month, and I'm sharing the business opportunity with twenty people. Just listen. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, that you're doing both of them. That if you go and turn for your car, usually you're going to have like probably three to five qualified team members. And so that's going to get you a huge chunk of that. Okay. Could you get excited about that? Yeah. But the key is you got to have a goal and you got to start now because this goes till June 15th. So that is a little bit less than a month. And if you guys start now, you can easily do that. So what, what does it take for qualified team members? They have to come in with 600 or more. Okay. So anyone that comes in with, so you have two right now. So yeah. So then it comes in with 600 or more, it bumps you up 600 on this, on this, um, on the star price thing. Those of you that are new, like th those of you that are new, if you came in with inventory, like let's say for example, you came in with an 1800 and you have two qualified team members, um, that's 600 plus 600 is 1200. So you're going to get to pick a 3000 level points thing. Does that make sense? Mm. Got it. Okay. So you're all going to focus on this now. Just shop. Just shop, shop and just and then go for it, and then tell people you have a goal. So I want us to start now on selling, um, on, on being focused on this. I think the charcoal mask is the best thing that you can do right now to do that. I mean, there's lots of different other ways to sell, but the key is you got to have a goal, and every single one of you could do it because stars drive cars. Those right. of you that want to drive cars, it's about selling consistently and then team building at the same time. If you want to build a strong, solid business. You can just sell all day long. And I was just going to sell as, an, as a new consultant. I literally looked at my director and was like, I'm not recruiting just so you know, I'm not doing that. Everybody. That's weird. I'm not doing that. Um, and my first team member popped into my lab and it changed their life. You've all heard the story, but, and it changed the way that, it, that, I, that I view team building. Does that make sense? But if you want to build this sell, and you can't just recruit, because if you just recruit and you're not selling, then you're not making money. You know, you're not making that quick money. You're making, you know, a team building position. So if you want to build a solid business, you want to be doing both. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. To where you're selling in that instant money and then getting the team building commission as well. So, anything else you want to say about I that? agree. Okay. <laughs> oh, one more thing I did want to say about finishing your star that I'm excited about this. Anyone who's a star consultant this quarter, so that means you, you, you're at least hit the 1800 level. Because there's a really cute um, frozen yogurt thing too. It's super cute. An um, ice cream maker. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Really cute too. Yeah. That picnic thing. Yeah, the beach thing. Oh yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Floating speaker. A floating speaker. Wow. Oh yeah, for like summer parties. For summer parties. Pool. Pool. Yeah. Yeah. Since we don't have pools, but whatever. Maybe somewhere warm they have pools. <laughs>
Um, no, what I was going to say is, anyone who's a star consultant this quarter, you are in a special Google Hangout with um, eight top directors all across the country. So you're if you're going to get some great training, it's for free for anyone who's a star consultant. So every single one of you, I want you to focus now because there's like three weeks left in the quarter. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Then the other big thing we wanted to talk about tonight is um, is seminar. Yeah. You guys know the seminar is right around the corner, and this year our seminar this is definitely going to be the best seminar ever for those of us in the room <laughs> because um, if you're uh, you know part of, of our unit and Brianna's unit, um, you that this is we're we're going to be number one and like right up there on the front row. We do a million. You guys are going to walk across stage, which for a lot of consultants um, that 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 doesn't they, that they don't get that opportunity ever. So it is it definitely something that you're going to want to be there. So seminar happens in July, and it's in Dallas. All of Mary Kay, the people that want to come, go to Dallas. And um, we have a room blog, so all that you don't have to worry about. We're going to talk tonight about selling and breaking it up, breaking it down so where you're using money from your business to pay for seminar. That's the important part. I know Michelle and Leah talked about carpooling, so if you guys – Want to carpool? There's probably a bunch of people that are going to be carpooling down there. Um, so basically, the first thing you need to do is is register if you do want to go. But it literally is a game changer for a lot of people. Is yeah. you go there and there's like ten thousand people there. It's huge. You know, we have we have our meetings weekly, um, and you see, you know, Mary Kay on a smaller scale. But when you go to this big old arena with ten thousand people, you realize that you're not alone, and we're all in this together. And it's like this big sisterhood. It's like this big um, it, it, I don't know how to describe, describe seminar besides it's a lot of fun. It's a great girlfriend's weekend, but it's so inspiring. And what, what happens at seminar is people start dreaming. And you start dreaming and there's usually a dream um, put in your heart um, at seminar that you see yourself up there, that you see yourself, you know, that you can be successful too because you relate to these people at the top who have had doubts, had discouragements, they had obstacles, they had several insecurities and they pushed through it and they did it in the Right? So you just get a bigger, bigger, bigger picture of what Mary Kay is all about. Yeah. So why should they go to seminar, Miss Nita? Why should they go to seminar? Well, for me, it was always the fun. Because, you know, sometimes we get stuck in this, like, rut of doing the same thing over and over and over again. And when I went to my very first seminar, how many of you guys have been to seminar before? Yay. Oh, no. Um, so when I went to my very first seminar, I remember because um, one of the opening nights, it's like a Broadway show. And they've got singing and dancing <gasps> and <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, I remember one year they had firemen coming down oh, from the ceiling. Oh yeah, <laughs> sex it. Yeah, it yes. <laughs> oh yeah, it, I mean it is it's like the best <laughs> the dancers. Yeah, uh -huh. and it's Broadway style. Like it's not just you know. Yeah. <laughs> you out of it 
And so the only thing I can say is that if you've ever questioned, make sure you go to seminar because after seminar, you know, you won't question. And if this is really where you should be, you know, God will put that in your heart. And we know Mary is not for everybody forever, you know, and that's okay. But some of you are Mary Kay lifers and you won't know until you go to seminar. So I would just give yourself the opportunity to find out for yourself if this is something that really you're supposed to be a part of for, you know, longer than just two months. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yep. Cool. I know I was going to have Jana share too, because Jana came, like you said, we got to come up here with those snake in there. Um, share about seminar and come over here. Come here. Nice try, nice try. You can't see that. You're way shorter than me. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, so, seminar for me, like, uh, it's just like the Grammys for makeup. It's kind of neat. You get to dress up. The relationships that you build, like, I look forward to going to seminar because mm -hmm. I have Mary Kay friends that don't live here because I've made them at seminar, but they mm -hmm. live all over. And so yeah. it's almost like a reunion. And you just get a deeper understanding of what the company is really trying to do. And you'll never leave. Once you go to seminar, you'll be like, oh, I can't leave this company ever <laughs> because of how amazing it are, they are and how they treat us. And you see actually the impact that the sales force has on um, the rest of the company by going and visiting corporate and by going and seeing where our products are all made because without us, there wouldn't be a them, right? Mm -hmm. And so they just show their appreciation and um, yeah, it just helps you see the bigger picture and not just like, I'm just this little Mary Kay lady in my house by myself. Mm -hmm. But you get to go see a whole bunch of other ones and realize like, oh my God, there's a whole tribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The whole drive, you're not alone. Yeah, you guys. it's just the bonding you experience, like you can't beat that. And you get to meet your kids and your husband. But then you miss them, and then you're excited. You can't bring your husband. You can't bring your husband. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm telling you about the third day, you're like, I have got to go home because I want to work. Yeah. I've got to get to work now. Yeah. So then you get annoyed by the last day because you'd rather be home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, working from there, yeah, yeah, bring your leads and stuff with you. So yes. it's a lot of fun. Yes. It's a lot of fun. So awesome. Good job, Yeah. Let's give her a round of applause. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> so we just wanted to talk about that a little bit more. I was trying to pull up a JPEG um, that I saw somewhere. Oh, here's the other cool thing about Summer this year is I don't know if you saw you get these gorgeous earrings. They're giving these gorgeous earrings to everybody that just goes when oh, your yeah. reaches your goal. It's yeah. pretty stinking cool. Um, okay, right. so this. This is Price Patrol. Oh, tell them about that. Yeah, oh. the Price Patrol is so cool. It's I mean, cool. it ranges from gift cards of like $100 if you are in the expo and we choose you. You know, I won that one time. It's really fun. Because, you know, we were in one of the parties that I earned and someone just came up to me and was like, hey, you want Price Patrol? And I won like a $100 gift card. Like, isn't that fun, right? Um, but then actually they do drawings, it's like career conference, but it's throughout the entire seminar too. So like really nice prizes, you know, and who doesn't want to win yeah. those? And it, you know, I've had friends that have earned them. I haven't won one of those yet. I don't either, but, but I've it's nice. Seen it. Yes, it definitely happens. So yeah. So most people register now, and so I found this thing that I've been trying to find on. It talks about multi-masking your way to seminar. And if just to pay for registration. You could pay, or you could sell nine um, multi-masking sets, and a multi-masking set would be a charcoal mask, the um, moisture gel renewal mask, and then the liquid foundation brush. Fifty-six dollars, and so you sell nine of those sets, and you can pay for your registration, um, which is kind of cool. The flight is eighteen sets, the hotel is twelve sets, transportation is three sets, and food and spending is. Um, five sets and so I thought that was kind of a cool thing that we want you selling product for it that you know You could use like this goal of, of selling charcoal masks You know you could use a portion of that proceeds to pay for seminar, you know that was really fast. Yeah, you yeah. Okay. Well, I did just rattle it off. I know Why y'all didn't get it? What? Yeah, huh? So there's a, I mean, I can post it on Facebook too, but it's multi-masking your way to seminar. The multi-masking set is um, a charcoal mask, a moisture gel renewal mask, a liquid foundation brush. It's 56. 
Um, and so registration would be nine sets. You sell nine sets and uh, you got that. And I would say if you want to, if you want to just focus on charcoal mask, you just um, double it. You know, 18 just charcoal masks would be registration, mm -hmm. right? Um, so the flight is 18 sets, so it could be 36 just charcoal masks. The hotel with three roomies, because we split it three ways, would be 12 sets or 24 charcoal masks. Um, transportation is three sets or six charcoal masks. Um, food and spending Are they is five like sets. No, 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 four. With three roommates. That's oh, what I meant. Yeah. We'll split it four ways. We have a room block and stuff, so you don't have to worry about. So what happens is you, you pay for registration now, which is what, 175? What? 190? But then you also get a, what, $40, $50 credit, some of like that, $95 credit on your second order or, some, or on a wholesale order. So you're going to get $95 off a wholesale order after some of that. Um, and then you pay for the flight or you figure out transportation and driving. I know Michelle and Leah are going to be driving. And then, um, and then you pay for a hotel when you're there. Does that make sense? So you split it up. So, yeah. All righty. So seminar, you got to go. It's amazing. So yes. Yeah, go Can you give us the working day? And you just said 24th July. to the 27th. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I'm going to go um, and do marketing and recruit some people for y'all. And um, Brianna's going to come in and talk about free profiling. And really, this is a really important thing that I feel like so many people are not doing. That if you're having issues with your appointments not holding, you need to be, it's probably well down to a couple different things, but free profiling definitely is a big deal with that. But while, and during the transition, Frankie, I'm going to have you come up and do product knowledge yes, right here. And... Uh, yeah, come stand right here so that they can hear you. I'll take my cool tote that y'all are in the urn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yours, not my Because <laughs> you're all going to share with 20 people and so I'll have the mask. Look at this! Okay, I haven't done this since I taught school. Okay. Alrighty. And you guys are a little more well behaved than my high school students. Right? Okay, I am doing Mary Kay's Perfecting Concealer. And the reason I chose that is because I didn't know a whole lot about it. So I decided I'd better go in and do some research. Now, characteristics, it says suitable for sensitive skin. Clinically tested for skin irritancy and allergy. Fragrance free, which is important to a lot of women. Non-comedogenic, blah, blah, blah. Non-comedogenic? That word. <laughs> okay. Suitable for contact lens wearers and dermatologists test it. Not always will they recommend it, but they test it. Now, the application techniques. I don't think anybody really knows about those either. It's you can wear it alone or over your favorite foundation. And I didn't know that until you put it over your foundation. Um, CC or over your CC cream. Now, I know you can the regular concealer, but it depends on the color, too, as to how it's going to show. Um, if you wear Mary Kay Mineral Powder Foundation, apply the concealer first. All right. Now, use the applicator to place one to three dots, depending on the need to hide blemishes and minor imperfections. In other words, they'll cover your entire face. <laughs> when you get to be my age, though, that... The imperfections are almost your entire face. So. <laughs> no, no, they're not, Frankie. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. No, it is so true. Yeah. You're just being nice. Go away. <laughs> Gently tap with your ring finger until it blends. Allow it to dry. But I'm here to tell you, don't tap too long because I used to tap with my other concealer. And I'd be watching my iPad or something and be, and pretty soon it's spread all over. <laughs> and, all, and your little imperfection is showing, so don't pat too long. And do blend the edges, because I learned that with the other. About, I don't remember who I came here and somebody said, your concealer's showing, so I have had to get reminded about that. All right, now, if you have bluish purple under eye circles, it's recommended you apply your under eye concealer and I brought that in case anybody wants to know about that. I've got it back there. But that is about our concealer. Yay! Yay! Oh, it's $16 in case you wanted to know. <laughs> or eight. Eight for us. Yeah. That's not bad. 
No, it's not bad for us. Yeah, if you want to. It's an awful good price. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to help because I left my phone somewhere. So, thank you for all the rest of it. Okay, so, Candace said that I don't have to talk to you guys about seminar because she already did. Um, and then I can talk to you about free profiling. And Peter's phone says that I have 18 minutes, so I'm going to take a couple to talk to you about seminar because um, I know Candace already stressed how important it is, but like honestly, you guys, I cannot like. I was literally looking at my notes from my first seminar last night after a training call that we had, and the things that you learn and feel and experience at seminar, those feelings come back and help you later in your business. Yes. Um, and if you're not there to have those feelings and experience those things, then later in your business, you won't have those things to re-motivate you. And one of the things that I do all the time, and I started this at my first seminar, was I wrote down all the music that they played. Um, because I want to be able to put myself back in that arena. I want to be able to feel that. And my husband just laughs at me because I'll take my car sometimes and like the radio is blaring because I've been screaming some song that we had at seminar all the way home uh, from wherever I was. But then I unplugged my phone. Mm -hmm. It was just some random radio station blaring when he turned on the car. <laughs> but to me, it makes perfect sense. Um, and those things remind me of those feelings that I had when I was there. And it reminds me of that motivation. And it reminds me of the hundreds of thousands of women that I saw that literally put God first, their family second, their career third, and they're successful. Amen. And it reminds me that I can do that too. It reminds me of their stories of what I heard about buying or selling a mascara to buy her kid dinner and watching her be a millionaire now. It reminds me of all these things that, and all these stories that I heard, it reminds me of the woman in the queen's chair who could not speak English. I had no idea what she was saying, but I was bawling. And I'm not a crier. For those of you who don't know me, I am not a crier. Like, I never cry, like ever. And, um, and, and I was bawling because of the emotion that she instilled in my heart. And those emotions are what carry you through the tough stuff. Because if you've been in Mary Kay for more than 2.5 seconds, you've experienced something tough. Okay? Whether it was your best friend saying she's allergic to Mary Kay, or, <laughs> or some random person telling you that you're crazy. Like, that's okay. I've had that happen. Had some lady in Walmart tell me one time, because I complimented her on her glasses, and I was genuinely complimenting like I was really excited about her glasses. I wasn't even going to talk to her about Mary Kay. We had like a 10-minute conversation. And then she had the audacity to tell me that, um, I only told her about her glasses because, and she looked at me and she goes, oh, you're one of those people. You're just nice to get what you want. In the middle of Walmart. And I was like, oh my gosh, you can't me at all. Like, <laughs> that is not all the way up. And it was the worst feeling ever. But we're all going to have those feelings, is my, my point. And yeah. seminar prepares you for how to handle those. Because you have this, like, crazy emotion. I feel so trapped right here. Um, you have this like crazy emotion. Oh, dang it! Get over there. <sighs> hey guys. <Yeah. laughs> there you go. There you All go. right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not very good with tight spaces. Um. So, anyways, go to seminar. Like, do whatever you have to do to go to seminar. Okay. Whatever you have to do to go to seminar. Write down how much it's going to cost. Like, figure it out. Carpool. Okay, I carpooled my first year, okay, because I literally, I have no idea why I went my first year. No joke. Like, it was my very first Mary Kay meeting, right? Okay, so imagine this, okay? You're walking out. We're telling you how wonderful seminar is. You're walking out. I'm giving Candace a hug goodbye, and she's like, just give me your card number. I'll get you signed up. And I was like, yeah, okay, here. I get my card. I'm like, what do I just do? I just gave some six-foot tall stranger my credit card. <laughs> But I ended up riding with some with a group of women down to Dallas. Okay. Then on the way back, the lady I was riding back with was about to have a baby. Oh. <laughs> you remember that year? <laughs> oh. No. So she's no, like, <laughs> no, it wasn't doing it. It wasn't doing it. But we're we're riding back, and she's like super uncomfortable, and we're driving her car. 
So I'm sitting there going, are you going to be okay? She's like, no, I think we need to stop at a hotel. And in my mind, I'm going, no, we need to get home before you have that baby. Like, <laughs> like she was due in like two weeks or something. Like she was only driving because she couldn't fly. Like she was that far along. Right? Yeah. And I kid you not, like it was the third baby. Yeah, it was her third baby. And I kid you not, you guys, we stayed at a hotel. I freaking out, didn't sleep the entire night because I'm like, oh my gosh. Because the whole night she's going, oh. And I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> We're still like six hours from home. Cross your legs. <laughs> I'm like the worst friend. No, I'm not. Uh, but so I drove her car for the majority of it. And she's sitting in the back seat having Braxton Hicks contractions. Okay. So. We get home, and the very next morning, we were supposed to go out to breakfast, like have some, well, she was gonna have whatever, but I was gonna have coffee, and we were gonna talk about, like, just kind of like, you know, process seminar. And I was very excited about it, and it was awesome, and she called me, and she goes, I don't think I can make it. And I'm like, oh, okay, what happened? And I was like, you okay? And she's like, I just thought she was tired, right? No, no, she had her baby in the driveway in the middle of the night that night. Oh, like, oh like, like, so dead serious, you guys. Like, we got home, and she yeah, called, she like, like literally have her baby on the stretcher in the driveway because it came that fast. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus, for not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. to talk about okay so this is gonna come this little sheet you're gonna get this sheet you don't have to write it down you're gonna get it in your email too okay um but i just wanted you guys to see what i'm talking about here so there's a lot of different options with free profiling free profiling is very simple it's connecting with your guest before they get here it's connecting with them. When you book them on Saturday, it's connecting with them on Sunday or Monday. Because two days is enough time for life to happen and something to come up. Okay? I'll tell you a very, very real life example. Okay? I was here Saturday morning. Super awesome day. It was great. Then I went and did a booth Saturday afternoon. I forgot my calendar here. <laughs> on Saturday morning. I had to scroll through all my text messages on Sunday to figure out what I was doing today. Okay? so. What if your person doesn't write it down because you talk to them when they're in the car and you text them the confirmation, but they didn't write it on their calendar? Mm -hmm. What if that happens? Mm -hmm. And they didn't go through their text message to find out what they're doing the next day because maybe they don't run a business or whatever. I don't know. I never used to do that before Mary Kay. Mm -hmm. The only reason I scrolled through, like literally guys, I did a search. I knew I had an appointment at 9 a.m., but I couldn't remember who with and I couldn't remember where. So I literally did a search in my text messages for 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. to figure out where I was supposed to be at 9 a.m. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I live by my planner. I like, I, I seriously, I was like, the only reason it didn't freak me out yesterday is because I was in the mountains all day. But <laughs> today it freaked me out a little bit. Actually, last night it freaked me out. But pre profiling <laughs> is exactly how I knew where I was supposed to be today because when I sent her the first text, okay, so like you're going to book them, you're going to send them the confirmation text, okay? Confirmation text is super simple. Confirmation text basically just says, um, hey, I'm super excited to see you on Monday at 6.30. The address for our studio is 6760 Corporate Drive, Suite 100. I can't wait. And that's it. It's not a question. You've already talked to her. She does not need to respond to that. Okay, if, they, if you send them that and they don't respond, that is normal, okay? They're not ignoring you. Nothing happened. That is normal, okay? Now, then the day before, the, the day before your appointment is to be held, okay, so like for tonight's appointment, yesterday, you're going to text them, super excited for your appointment tomorrow at 6.30, I'm putting together your swag bag, and I had a couple of quick questions. Okay, a swag bag can be something as simple as a snack size Ziploc baggie with a couple of samples in it. It can be a card, a thank you card, 
with a gift certificate for 10 bucks it is. It can be something that simple, okay? It doesn't have to be huge. It can be one of the samples that come in your starter kit with a little curly ribbon tied around it. Like, I promise you, like, I've done everything for a swag guy. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? The next sentence to that is what's really, really important is the questions, okay? There are three questions on here that I ask everybody because I like M&Ms, okay? And I give people M&Ms because I like M&Ms. Now, if you don't want to give people M&Ms, that's fine. Just leave the last question off. It's not, like, not that dramatic, okay? First question is, would you say your skin is dry, oily, or both? Our profile cards let you say dry, normal, combination, oily, okay? Most people, if you ask them those four options, they're going to be like, ah, ah. they have no idea. That's the honest truth. They have no idea. And to be totally honest with you, if they tell you that their skin is oily and they're not using a moisturizer, you don't know if their skin's actually oily or not. That's just, it's oily because they're not using a moisturizer because their brain produces more oil. So this is just to engage them and to give you an idea of what you're working with. It may be totally wrong, okay? It's not set in stone here. They don't know everything about their skin. I promise. If they did, they'd be consultants um, or estheticians or something like that. So um, the idea is to get them to answer. So you want to ask them if it's dry, oily, or both, okay? They're going to know between those three what it is. Or if they'll be like, oh, I don't know, then it's normal. If they don't know, it's normal. I promise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can tell. But well, that's like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No, yeah. They don't know. If they don't know it's normal. If it is something, they know. I promise you, they know if it's something. So, then the next one, this is one of the most important questions, is if there's anything that you could change about your skin, what would it be? The reason you ask them if there's anything you could change about your skin, what would it be? Is because that tells you what supplemental products they're going to be interested in. If they tell you they have blackheads, guess what they're interested in? Charcoal, charcoal mask and microderm. Okay? And before we had the charcoal mask, microderm. <laughs> um, if they tell you that their skin is really flaky, or if they tell you they have this crease from frowning at their kids, or whatever, they'll tell you some really weird, like, random stuff. But no matter what they say, this is your answer. Awesome! I have the perfect product for that, or I have the perfect thing for that. Okay? Awesome, I have the perfect thing for that. Because we do, we have everything that you need for skincare. We do, we just do. You may not know what that perfect product is, okay, when you write that, but I can confidently tell you we have the perfect product for that. If she tells you that she has Sharpie on her face and she can't get it off, great, we have foundation. We have concealer, <laughs> right? You just told you all about concealer. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> Ours is more fun to put foundation on the top. Um, <laughs> right, yeah. Be like, here, look, we can use our foundation and our concealer and show you what it does, and then be like, oh, by the way, if you just want it to come off, we can do that too. Um, but that's honestly what you're going to say is awesome. I have a perfect thing for that. You're going to love it. Okay? Because you do. And now, you have time because you asked her yesterday and she's telling you yesterday that she has blackheads and you're like, oh my God, I'm brand new and I don't know what to do for blackheads. Ooh. You have time to box your director and be like, I guess Tamara is concerned about blackheads. What do I tell her about? You have time. You have time to go on Product Central and you have time to figure out what it is. Does that make sense? Like, it gives you time to figure out what her need is because as a consultant, if she has blackheads, your job is not to sell her the moisture renewing gel mask. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. That's not your job. You're not a salesperson. You're a consultant. Your job is to ask her what she needs and fill that need. And if you don't ask if there's anything you could change about your skin, you're never going to know if you don't ask. Because they're not just going to be like, oh, hi, Sharice. I'm Brianna. By the way, I have blackheads. Oh. They don't do that. <laughs> Sometimes you wish they would, but they don't. You have to ask. Um, so it's really good to do that beforehand. The text, the third text, this one is awesome. Absolutely fabulous. Don't forget this one, okay? And this one's specific. If your appointment is for Monday night, you cannot send this to her on Sunday. She'll forget, okay? So this is, by the way, if you get a chance to watch this video link before we get together, you get to pick a free full-size product from my basket, okay? So 
figure out with your director. That's what I offer for my consultants. Um, I think Candace has a color item, um, but we have baskets and they're full size products. Sometimes there's color items in mine. Sometimes there's just skincare. Sometimes there's both. Um, but Candace is the same thing. She has a basket. She has stuff. What are you talking about? For what? For what? For giving away stuff for listening. Yes, the basket. Yeah. So they just get to pick a product and you can confidently say from my basket because you know your director is going to have her basket. Okay? This isn't coming out of your inventory. This is from your director. Okay? So if they watch the video and the link is on here, okay, this is the one that counts for our units. Okay? The link is on here. Um, so this is, the, this is the only one. It's not like they can't watch a 30 second video and get a full size product. Okay? This is Candace's video that's on here that explains the marketing plan, okay? It's Candace's marketing video. This is the only video that I will count because all of my questions pertain to that video when I talk to them. <laughs> because if they watch the video ahead of time, so say Jeanette comes and she's watched the video, I can confidently talk to her before the facial when I'm meeting her. And how cool is it, by the way, if you see someone on TV and then you see them up here? Like, you guys, you're, you're really talking up Candace. And for our unit, that's our future national. You're really talking her up. And you're putting her in a place where when they come, they're already respecting her. They're already engaged with her, which makes it easier for her or I to recruit for you. Does that make sense? Yes. It's important that they know who that is. Because if it's just some random lady in there talking to them about Mary Kay and they don't know who she is, they don't know she's number one in Colorado two years in a row. They don't know that she's about to finish million this week. They don't know those things. They don't know that she's been number one in the entire country for two months this year. And we're tracking number one for the whole year. They don't know those things. But when they get to see her ahead of time, it enforces that like respect level and that trust level, okay? So. It's important that you do that one. The reasoning that I want you to do it three to 12 hours beforehand, is because you don't want to watch it in 24 hours beforehand, because if they watch it 24 hours beforehand, our chances of recruiting them when they get here are lower, okay? When more than 12 hours goes by from them hearing the information, like for my people tonight, I sent them this video at noon. I was like, hey, by the way, I'm so sorry. If you get a chance to watch this, awesome. If they don't watch it, no big deal. We're gonna hear all the information tonight. But if they get a chance to watch it, one, it means that they're engaged and that they're willing to do something for a really cool product because they already like the product. So, questions on pre-profiling. I do. Yes, ma'am. So, you, you said that the directors have the basket and the color item, that it doesn't come out of our inventory. Mm -hmm. But if they come to a facial with us, how do we give them that if they're not there? You, they had to follow up with Candace at that point. Gotcha. So if they come, if they watch this video, okay, beforehand, like before your own party, then they need to follow up with your director to get the product because the product does come from us and you can tell them that. Like, hey, so the product actually comes from my director. Um, so I'm just gonna give her your info so she can figure out what it is you want or when's a good time to meet up so you can pick from her basket. Super simple. And then we just call and be like, hey, what did you think? And we ask those questions for you. You're more than welcome to talk to them about it, but we, there's some nails to cut there. Um, well, if it's, uh, if you book ahead of time, if you have a large enough party, then you can, and if your, your yep, yeah, if your director is able, you guys are doing price control. Yep. Yeah. If you have a party and so like, here's the deal. Like say you have a party and it's going to be six people and you've gotten the guest list and they've all said they're going to watch the video. You can guarantee that your director is going to do whatever she can to be there. You can get, I can guarantee it for me and Candace and I'm pretty sure Nita and Lynette would do the same thing, whatever we can to be there. We travel. We want to be in front of people for you. We really do. That's a good question. Good question. Any more? Sweet, then it is 8.02 and let's do our empowering statement. Hold on, I'm coming back, computer. Coming back, computer, I just have to get my words. Hold on. I get nervous and forget the words. Okay. 